So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. Alright y'all, so I'm back again with another story time, okay? Y'all love the last one. I had to deliver and give y'all another one. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Subscribe subscribe okay and if you're an og triple og then what is up kp squad gang 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 all right y'all so we're gonna get right into it i know a lot of people feel like their high school graduation was a very big and important day and it was for me but things just didn't go smoothly so i want to give you all a little backstory my senior year of high school i did so much like i was in band i did every honor society other than spanish i won the miss hollander pageant which was basically like the school pageant i won that i was in theater so we had a play that was running for like almost two years y'all and what else did i do I think that was like the main things, okay? Those was like the biggest things. Um, I had already got my acceptance letter by the time I got to graduation. Like, I was just ready to go. And I want y'all to know that my entire senior year, I was ready to graduate. Over with. Because I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP. Like, I know, you know, it was fun. Senior year was like amazing, but I'm gonna keep it a band. Like I was so ready to go. Like senior, I just couldn't hit me no harder. Like every day since I stepped foot into the school, my senior year, I was like, I'm ready to graduate. I'm so ready to graduate. I'm ready to graduate. I'm ready to graduate. I said that every day y'all until one day it was graduation day. And I was like, oh my gosh, finally, finally, I don't have to come up in this junk. I can finally live my great college life. Y'all, I was just so ready. Like, I was so ready. But I finally made it, and we're gonna start from, hmm, we're gonna start from graduation morning, okay? So we have this thing where we basically meet up at the high school, and then we bust everybody over to the Seagull Center. And the Seagull Center is VCU's, like, coliseum like their stadium you know it's really just the basketball court they just put the mat over the flow and you put the stage in the front and that's where you graduate y'all know what i'm talking about like you just use like most high schools use their local college facilities to do the graduation so you can fit a whole bunch of people that making sense okay whatever so we go to the school in the morning um, only thing I really remember about that is that we was in the cafeteria. We all had our cap and gowns on. Like, it was just starting to get real that we were ready to graduate. And then everybody was like on my case about all these, um, courts that I had. It was just for the honor society. I had like a little medal for being an honor roll. Like, that was just like the topic of discussion. I'll put a picture right here so y'all can know what I'm talking about. But we load the buses and then we head over to the seagull center now one thing that kind of irritated me that was in the back of my head the whole time is the fact that we had this rule where we couldn't have our phones like we couldn't have our phones during the graduation so when i got dropped off at the school in the morning i'm pretty sure i left my phone with my mom or something like that let's say i left my phone with my mom and like that entire morning, I didn't have my phone. Y'all know how it is. We're very codependent on our phones. And like, I it's so memorable because I'm not used to not having my phone on me like that. So we getting bust over to the Seagull Center. We backstage, they got us in this little holding area that kind of mocks how the layout is when we go out to actually graduate. And I was just sitting there like, dang, like I seen people taking pictures and stuff. And I'm just like, I wish I had my phone so I could take pictures. But while we was back there, it just started to really get real. You know what I'm saying? And they got the little, um, what is it? They had the little books that they gonna put our diplomas in. Like they was stacking them up. I had teachers I was taking pictures with and like everybody was just kind of like reminiscing on like how we not gonna see each other no more and how good the school year was and all this just different type of stuff y'all. I will say at the time, 
like I said, my mental state was that I'm just trying to graduate. Um, I wasn't like really, really close to my graduating class. I actually was like super close to upperclassmen that had already graduated. So I really wasn't like, I really wasn't feeling a buddy buddy like yes like i'm graduating with my, all my homies like i just wasn't feeling that y'all i didn't even know half the people i really on i really met half my graduating class like the last week when we was doing like senior week and we had pranks and all that extra stuff i actually started to meet people in my class but that's a whole nother thing everything's cool everything's straight and they tell us to get up and we lining up so that we can walk in you know how everybody's yelling and you know the graduation music is playing cue the music intro so the graduation music is playing and you hear all the yelling when you walk in and it's like giving some brown sound you know what i'm saying like it's just like wow i'm about to graduate so we walk in and I'm like looking around, like I'm, I'm taking it all in, but I'm looking around like, where is my family? And y'all know it's like 50 million people in there. So I'm just like, oh, where is my family, where is my family? I just wanna know where they're sitting at so I can look for them when I walk across the stage. Okay, like that's the vibe. Y'all, I did not see them. I, I did not see them. I didn't know where they were sitting. I didn't know where they were at, okay? First kind of like, okay, I don't have the dependency of my phones who call them to see where they're at. So the graduation starting, everything's going good. It's a little boring. Y'all know graduations can be a little long winded and just, it's like overkill. Like, come on, like, let's go. But one thing I do think was like crazy is that I was on the Jumbotron. Excuse me? So they interviewed students. Like they interviewed students, I guess to talk about graduating or talking about the senior class or something like that and they had like multiple people that they interviewed and they like put the clips together and made like a little video coming from you know the senior class and i remember doing the interview but i guess it didn't click in my head when they were going to broadcast it i thought maybe they would put it on the school website maybe i don't know i didn't think they were gonna play it at the graduation so that was like part of the graduation i was kind of like wow like this is like legit like this is crazy a few details i feel like y'all should know is that um i was sitting beside two people that i mean i knew them but like not like that and i knew they was gonna sit beside me because we've done convocation like that's like the practice for the graduation so i knew who was gonna be sitting beside me and they was like kind of close so they like oh my god so everybody graduate so i was kind of like talking to them even though it was i didn't feel the same way they was feeling but i was still like you know they I didn't want them to talk across me. So I'm like, oh yeah, like, yeah, this is crazy. So y'all, while we're sitting there, they are both like, what are we gonna do across the stage? What are we gonna do across the stage? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm like, we're supposed to do something across the stage? Like, then it started to hit me like, dang, I guess I should do something across the stage. Ever play yourself. And like y'all know like colleges, like people stroll and like the dancers would dance and like, you know, it's like cute stuff like that. But like college, you can do anything you want. Y'all, this is high school and they told us if you do some crazy stuff across the stage, you won't get your diploma. Like they're literally just handing you like the little booklet that you put your diploma in, but like they don't actually give it to you when you walk across the stage. They so was like, we will hold your diploma at the school if you decide to act crazy at the graduation. That was OD, like no phone, big dress code, don't do nothing crazy across the stage. Like they were just like, OD, let's keep it a buck. I'm just like, okay, so I can't do nothing crazy across the stage, but now they talking in my head like, I gotta do something. So y'all, I kid y'all not, for the rest of the graduation, I literally only was thinking about what I should do across the stage. Like that's the only thing that was going through my head. I don't care what was going on in graduation. The only thing I could think about was like, I gotta do something. So I was just thinking, thinking, thinking. So I finally put it in my head that I was gonna do the nay nay. Boy, if you don't. And y'all know that was like, that was like the end at that time y'all know how to be yeah so i'm just like bro i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that when i go across the stage you know i'm gonna shake the people's hands i'm gonna hit the look nay nay okay so it's finally our time to walk and get our diplomas 
diplomas, right? So I get, we get into our lines and our row is ready to get up and everybody has like their name on a card. So they like double, triple check to make sure we had our spelling right on our cards. So they're gonna hand it to the announcer He's going to read it, and then that is like how your name is being called, and that's when you walk out. Y'all know how graduations work. So now that we're getting up, I got my card in my hand. I'm ready to walk up to the heirs to hand it to him. I'm getting kind of nervous because y'all know I, I'm thinking about doing a nay nay. I don't know where my family is, and I don't want to embarrass myself. You know, it's like a whole bunch of stuff going through my head, a lot of nerves, you know, all of that. So I get up to the announcer, I hand him my name card, and I start to walk in. Y'all, he goes, Keandra Monet Payne. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Keandra? Who is Keandra? Who is Keandra? I'm having one of those moments. <laughs> He said my name wrong, y'all. He said my name wrong. And I had already started walking like I'm just ready to graduate. He just said my name incorrect. And when I talked to my parents after, they were literally like, we almost missed you because we didn't hear your name. Tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> y'all don't understand the disrespect that he just did me. Y'all just don't understand the disappointment I had in my heart when he said that and i had already walked off because i know i've seen people have their names said wrong and they literally like stood at the announcer and was like say it right and then walk out but i'm like y'all know i was thinking about doing a nay nay so i'm walking out he done said my name wrong so obviously it's like people yelling but it's so much going on like people could be yelling from the person that went in front of me it could be my friends yelling from the audience like i don't really hear like a pinpoint of like okay those could be, that could be my family yelling for me so whatever i walk out i hit the yada da yeah okay I, I hit it i hit it i did it y'all i actually did do it legit and y'all know like at that point when you like walking closer to like your principal that's when you get up on the jumbotron so i think that's when my family saw me or whatever so i guess i'm glad that i did do that so it kind of delayed it and my principal was looking at me like girl come on get your diploma because i was not supposed to do like you're not supposed to do stuff and i just did it anyway you know you know i just had to do stuff you feel me so i get my diploma or my case for my diploma and i walk off and like that was like the main event like i have my diploma i graduated you know they tell us some of our little tassels and we leave and we go backstage like that's the graduation literally that's it so i'm already kind of like dang like this is kind of crazy how everything panned out i'm pretty sure they gave us our papers back stage so when we went backstage they actually like started handing out the actual diplomas and y'all i never forget i went to the bathroom before i actually like left the seagull center and my friend was like oh my gosh like i don't know what i'm gonna do without you and like she was just getting all sentimental about our friendship and how we're not gonna see each other no more and all this type of stuff and y'all i kid y'all not i was just like i'm not gonna miss this and i'm ready to get the heck up out of here yep i had no regrets i was ready to go i had no i had nothing holding me nothing was holding me to that school nothing was holding me to the high school experience i was ready to go after you get your stuff you can just leave like you could just go out find your family and like that's the end you done graduated we have no more responsibility over you like the school is done with you i'm done with the school so i leave out and y'all remember I don't have my phone now it's a lot of families like think about like how many families is coming to get their kids some people is standing like at the gate that they had in the front of the seagull center some people is like standing in the street because they closed off the road like it's just like a lot of people just scattered everywhere they're taking pictures with their family they're getting gifts they're getting handed roses hugging you know all that stuff is going on when you walk out so i'm like okay i gotta figure out how i can find my family 
So I seen like a few friends on the way while I was walking and like I take pictures with them and I actually was like, can I use y'all phone so I can call my family? Y'all, nobody was answering their phone. I didn't know where my family was. Like I'm just standing around, walking around, looking for my family. Like I legit cannot find them. Ooh, a lot of people will be scared here. And like, I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'm happy I graduated, but like, where is my freaking family? I already couldn't find them inside, like during the ceremony. And now I'm getting out and I have my diploma. I'm done graduating. I'm, I'm ready for my accolades. And I don't, I can't find my family. At this point, I'm lost. Y'all gotta think, I have no choice. Like, I don't have my car. I don't have anything. I don't have no reference point. We didn't say we were gonna meet somewhere. Like, I'm legit just lost and in the sauce, like, for real. So finally, this is maybe, and I'm not exaggerating, this had to be maybe like 20 minutes or so. Let's say 15. Let's say I was searching for them for 15 minutes, y'all. And my dad finally found me. And then I walked over and they were in the subway, like the restaurant, they was in the subway. So I go in there and there's only like half of my family in there. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, like, hey, da, 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 da. I'm just looking like, where's everybody else at? And it's like, oh, they went to the car. So I'm just like, I mean, what is going on? Like, where, why is my family not showing up? Where is y'all at? Where is y'all at? At this point, it's been one too many, like, what's going on? This is my graduation day. So I meet up with my family nevertheless. I'm just like, yeah, I'm happy to see y'all. Glad y'all came, all of that. And you know, after graduation, you usually go get some food, you hang out. Some people have their graduation parties the same day. Like that's the type of vibe. Like we just ready to celebrate. We're ready to go out with the family, do something, right? So I, of course, no brainer, we're gonna go out to eat. So I, at the time, was in a relationship. Y'all seen the story time. I was in a relationship and I was just like, hey, like I want to go wherever his family goes. And they were going to like, I think it was going to like an Olive Garden, but it was like way out on the south side. Like they was going to an Olive Garden that was not close. Like they was going somewhere far. But I'm just like, I want to like spend graduation. Like I just graduated with my man. I want to go to a restaurant where my man and his family is at so we can coexist and I can feel like we did this together. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the vibe and that's what I said. I said I want to go to the Olive Garden that he going to and he asked me the address and I was like, yeah, like I'm trying to go. And for one, we didn't go straight to the restaurant. We went home and that's when I finally got pictures. I didn't even get pictures until I got home. I got no pictures at the Seagull Center because by the time I found my family, they was like, oh, our feet hurting. We got to walk to the car. Like it was just, it was just starting to get irritating. I'm gonna keep it a bug. Like at this point, I'm just like, can the day be over? So we go back to the house and everybody's like asking like, what do we want to eat? When I just told y'all where I want to go eat. Let's keep it a band. I don't even know what we talking about right now. I don't even know what we're discussing. I don't even know why we're at the house right now. We should be at the restaurant. We should have been calling in and standing outside waiting for our tables to be ready. So whatever, we ended up at freaking Piccadilly, which Piccadilly is not that bad. I know a lot of people gonna be like, Piccadilly? And if you don't even know what Piccadilly is, it's like a cafeteria style restaurant. So like you go in there and you get a tray and you say, this is what I want, this is what I want. And you know, they make your tray. Like that is Piccadilly. It's a cafeteria style restaurant. It's not even open anymore. It's actually where the cities is at. And I told y'all in the video before, like when we went to cities, I was like, this is old Piccadilly. So whatever, that's where we went. Um, I got a few little graduation gifts. But that was really it, y'all. Nothing went my way. Even the actual, like, going up and getting my diploma across the stage was a hot mess because he called my name wrong. I did do the nay nay. And I did have my video play. And I did stand up for the top 10 of my class. But overall, the day was trash. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a ban. Me getting lost was the icing on the cake. Me not being able to find my family was the icing on the cake. The, the candles on the cake was them saying they almost missed me because for one, they came late and for two, the man called my name wrong. 
So yeah. So that was my graduation day fiasco. Comment down below like a rememberable part of your high school graduation. And if you haven't graduated from high school yet, then let me know what you're looking forward to in your senior year and or your graduation. Please take notes, okay? If you hear the man say your name wrong, stand right there at the stoop and be like, say it right okay make sure that you break the rules and bring your daggone phone because it's no reason why i couldn't have just kept my phone like i'm just keeping a band like i could have put it somewhere somewhere and not be on it and still have it you know what i'm saying but nevertheless that was my experience can't go back i'm glad i got the diploma yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing, but I know you want to see more of me. But without further ado, I will see y'all in the next one. Do sit. Y'all make sure y'all go subscribe, okay? Because this took a lot of work. And I see the sun that went down. I hate when I'm doing a video and the lighting just starts to change. I do want to expose this though. This is my lamp. Bye. I could have did it like this.